welcome back to Beauty Bee. Today's video is going to be a chatty get ready with me. I wanted to talk about breaking my nail by, but um, I just don't feel comfortable doing it just as a sit down video. So I'm going to do my makeup while I do it to make myself feel better. So my plan for my nail by was to go three months without purchasing anything and then at that point a $35 budget would be in place and I could spend that budget however I wanted on color cosmetics. It didn't include things like skincare or even the kinds of makeup that I personally don't switch out every day. Um, so for me that's things like brow powder or brow pencil, eyeliner, uh, any kind of base product really, because I don't wear a ton of foundation and concealer. Um, let's see, what do I want now? Yes. And the Nova was supposed to end on November 1st. It really ended up ending on, I don't even know the date, like two weeks ago. Placed an order at Wet n Wild and then I placed an order at Elf a week later. Um, and really I don't feel that bad about either of the purchases. I mean I think they were both pretty legitimate things to wants. Um, at Wet n Wild, I bought two of those hummingbird blushes. I'd really wanted those when they came out, but I'd always wanted to look at them in store and figured that I could buy them in store at some point. But if they ever came to one of any of the stores near me, I didn't see them there. And I, I kind of think they just didn't. And then they were sold out online pretty much everywhere. But then I happened to uh, see that they were on One Wild's site. So I bought those and a peachy lipstick, which is something I just don't have, but often find myself wishing that I did. And a nail polish. Didn't need the nail polish. That was completely just to get up to the shipping threshold, which is really low at Wet n Wild. I think it's $10. I don't know if it's always that low or if that's on some level due to the pandemic, but I really appreciated it. So my thought is that I'm gonna do a pretty cool sort of nude eye and some winged liner. I'm gonna just go with this shade. And I think I only bought one thing at Elf that would have been breaking my no buy, technically. Um, I got a foundation and a concealer. Oh, two things. I got the uh, Elf 70s Feels palette, which I've actually think talked on this channel about wanting, but it was on a really good sale. I think everything that I bought on e.l.f. was 60% off. So I got a really light coverage foundation. I think it's probably more like a BB cream because it's in their uh, beautifully bare line. It only comes in like four shades, but the shades are pretty staggered. And um, it has sunscreen in it. So to me, that sounds like tinted moisturizer, BB cream territory. I'm gonna put some more of that same shade under the eye. So I'm actually pretty excited to get those things.
because my skin has not been behaving itself recently. I mean, this is finally starting to get better. Um, I don't know where that came from. I haven't had that kind of deep, painful acne in a hot minute, but... Sure got it. And... Yeah, I think that'll be good. I also got a little brush set from e.l.f. Um, it has, I think, five or six little eye brushes, which I think will be good because I'm kind of missing some little detail brushes that I would really like. And as I've mentioned, I'm sure many, many times on this channel, I really hate cleaning my eye brushes and just my brushes in general. And I don't worry too much about it with my face brushes because, I mean, I use the same like three face products over and over and I don't really do a lot of cream products. You know, I don't have a foundation that I'm buffing out every day. In that case, I would want to clean that more often. But what am I looking for? Oh, brown. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Maybe, sometimes. This is going to go into a little bit of this shade. To blend things out. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to get them. I really am. But I am kind of disappointed that I didn't complete my no-buy. And now there's things that I still want to buy. Um, honestly, it's ridiculous. The last, just yesterday, I think there were three different palettes that I saw on Tribe Moon that I wanted to buy. That hasn't happened, um, ever, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna take just a little bit of this dark brown and deepen up the outer V. I don't know how they managed to do it just as I was on my, just as I had broken my no-buy, but they sure did. I sound like my, sound like my parents. I'm not upset with you, I'm just disappointed. That's looking good. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of brow and highlight because why not? And probably a little bit of inner corner highlight. This is not actually turning out <laughs> to be as easy and nothing as I thought it would be. Um, I guess that's how it be sometimes. Let's see. That's not really the brush that I want to do this with, but... Oh well, it's here. showing up so much more on my right than my left eye. Oh, maybe it's just the angle. In the viewfinder, it looks fine. Yeah, just the angle. Silver will mess you up. Now for my brow bone. I also kind of like that I don't get the um, immediate gratification of getting something. I mean, I ordered my Wet n Wild stuff a few weeks ago and it's still not supposed to be here until Tuesday, I think? Which honestly is ridiculous. It shouldn't take three weeks for something to get to you. It's gonna be three weeks by the point I get it, but... Oh well. It's a very first world problem, isn't it? As is breaking your no-buy. 
that's definitely a first world problem too. Should I title this video like me complaining about first world problems as I do my makeup like a spoiled American brat? Probably. I'm not going to though. That'd be kind of funny. See who clicks on it. Let's see. What do I need now? Uh, brows. You'd think that after last time, I would remember to actually bring my brow brush. I bring my brow brush, but of course I didn't. So I just wiped off the little angled liner brush on my hand, and I might have a little bit of glitter in my brows, but I don't care. The closest thing I'm doing to going somewhere today is having a Zoom meeting, so it doesn't matter. And you know, putting this on the internet for however many people want to view it, but for some reason that seems secondary. Probably shouldn't. I'm kind of guessing that people who uh, watch beauty videos are a little bit more judgmental than the men who I doubt have ever worn makeup who are going to be in the Zoom call, but it feels secondary and my feelings are valid, <laughs> even when they don't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, just as like an interesting exercise, last night I sat down as I was sort of reflecting about ending my no buy or taking a break from my no buy. Um, I'm not ten intending to end it. I'm going more the eat this is like a diet route, you know, if you eat pizza and ice cream and two root beer floats, so additional ice cream, uh, you don't just give up and say, wow, I guess I'm never gonna lose any weight. All I eat now is chocolate. Like, you fix it up. You figure out what's good for you and do that instead. Right back on the horse. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Though I am having a little bit of a hard time with it because the new Wet n Wild Halloween palettes, there's at least one, and I think actually maybe two, that I really want. There's sort of a green one and like a really warm toned one. And there are shades that I know I would use but just don't have in both of them. Um, like for example, I don't have like a true matte red or a matte yellow or I do have a matte orange but I don't particularly like it and that's in there. I might actually want to do winged liner but am I just gonna mess up something that looks good so far? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for it. Why not? Don't fail me now Kat Von D. Actually, I don't want to wait for Kat Von D to not fail me. That's, that's wishful thinking. I mean, the woman failed me in plenty of other ways with, uh, you know, being a Nazi. So it goes even. I think I need a little more on this side. The eyeliner fallacy. If you just keep adding more to this side and then to this side and then to this side and then to this side. At some point it's gonna look better. Somehow would you go 
too far on one side, if you go too far on the other, it's going to even it out and it'll look great. We all know that's a fallacy. I'm not sure which logical fallacy it is, but I think it deserves its own name. Okay, I think this is looking pretty good. I do want to add some lipstick. I'm going to go in with this. This is Maybelline Almond Rose. I'm just putting that over chapstick to sheer it out a bit. Also makes it a bit less matte. All right, very good. I think that I have achieved my original goal of looking uh, like I work in the MI6 offices as a secretary in a James Bond movie. So that's all I ever want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I hope that I will see you next time. Like and subscribe if you'd like to and uh, until next time. Bye!